What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I'll be drawing Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. Let's begin today's lesson in the center page with the top edge of the nose. So we're gonna start over on the left side. We wanna draw a curve that goes up in the middle and then we'll bend that back down towards the right. Now from the ends, we're gonna bend the nose coming down and in towards the center point. Let's fill the inside of the nose in black. Now from that bottom point, we draw a straight line coming down the center of the muzzle, and it'll curve the bottom. Then come down to the left, and then bend that up, go back to the center, come down, and then up on the right. Let's round out the side of the muzzle. We're gonna start from this point on the left, we're gonna bend this up, come around, and then in towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right side. Now you want to add two dots on either side. So let's start on the left with one small circle. Step down, draw that again. Now we just want to mirror that over on the right side. Let's fill those dots in black. Now I'm layer the lower jaw underneath from the side, bend this down and then in. Now we'll close out the bottom with a curve. Come down the middle and then Now let's go up to the top and draw two large circles for the eyes layered in behind the top of the muzzle. So we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start on the left side of the nose. We're gonna go all the way around, come down, and then just tuck that in towards the side. Let's move over towards the right and do the same thing. Going up towards the same height, come around, and then bend that in. Let's add a smaller circle along the inside of the eye. So we're gonna start from the top left, curve around, leaving a gap on the outside, come down and in towards the bottom. Let's fill the outer area in black. In the center of each eye, let's draw a small circle, the iris, going all the way around and up. And then we'll line that up on the right side. And then in the center, add a small black dot for the pupils. Now directly up above the eyes, we're gonna layer the eyebrows. We're gonna step in on the inside. We're just gonna bend this up across the top of the eye and bend that out. Let's line this up on the right, going up and out. Let's flatten off the inside with a short angle line. Let's go to the outside, draw a slightly longer line to block this off. And then from the top, we're just gonna taper this so it gets narrower as you come back in. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now with the face complete, let's move out to the side and draw on the cheeks. From the outside left eye, I'm gonna step out, just gonna round this out, come around, and then bend that in towards the mouth. Let's line this up over on the right. Come around, and then bend that in. Now you wanna work our way up towards the top of the hat. Let's start on the left. We go straight up, go around the eyebrow, and just bend that in to right about there. Let's go to the right, going up, around the eyebrow and then bend that in. Let's connect the top with a curve going up and then down. Now you wanna draw the side of the hat brim with two short lines going up. Close out the top with that same curve. Now let's draw on the side of the hat. From the top, we'll step in. Just wanna angle this up and out towards the side. And we'll close off the top with another curve. Now we're going to place the ears along the side of the hat. Let's start on the left side. We're going to leave a gap in between the head. Draw a straight angle line coming down. Let's go over towards the right. Come down towards the same height. 
Now we're gonna draw on the outside of the ear. Starting from the top, go all the way around like a half oval. Come down and then bend that back in toward the bottom. Now we're gonna connect the ear to the head with two straight angle lines. Let's trace each of the ears along the inside. So we're gonna start along the bottom, along that straight line. Just trace the outside. Now we're gonna move down and tuck the bow tie underneath the chin. Let's leave a gap in the center, draw two straight lines coming down, and then round out the bottom. From the bottom corners of the knot, bend this down and out. Round this out, come up and in underneath the chin. From the side of the bow tie, let's step out, curve the body, going out, and then down towards the hips. And we'll close off the hip with a curve, coming down and up. Let's add that trim along the side, starting from these two points, then it's out and then down towards the waist. Now we're going to separate the lower torso from the legs. From the hips, I'm just going to round this out with a bracket. Now from the bottom, I'm just going to bend this down and then in towards the center point. And go back out and up. Let's separate the upper leg, leaving a small gap in the center. Go over toward the left, bend this down and out towards the knees. Now I'm going to go out to the hips, bend this out and then in towards the same height. Close off the upper leg with a curve. Now from the inside, I'm just going to bend the leg, coming in and then down towards the heels. And I'm going to round out the bottom of the feet. I'm going to come down and then up towards the first toe. Let's draw on the first toe. I'm going to draw a C shape going all the way around. And just pull that down to right about there and we'll go in the opposite direction on the right side. And then we're going to layer two more toes on either side. Start from the top, go all the way around like a circle, and then tuck that in, and do that one more time. Now you're going to go in between the last two toes, go up towards the top of the foot, and then bend that down towards the inside of the leg. Let's line that up on the right, going up and then down. Now I'm going to go back up to the knees and close off the lower leg. Bend this out and down towards the feet. And we're also going to separate the kneecap. Start from this point, come down and then bend that up. Now we want to go back up to the top and draw on the shoulders. From the top of the body, let's step down, bend this up and then out towards the outside of the arms. Bend this up and in behind the jaw. Now I want to draw the left arm holding the microphone. So we're going to start with the upper arm, starting from this point, bend this out and then down. Come in and then down towards the bottom of the arm. And then curve that back up in towards the body. Let's round up the top of the forearm, going up and then down towards the wrist. And we're just going to curl around the thumb, go up. Bend that down, round up the thumb, and then bend that back up. Let's layer three fingers along the outside. Starting from the side of the thumb, we draw a half oval, going out and then in. Let's step down, draw that again. Going around, just tuck that up underneath the thumb, and then we'll do that one more time. Let's go to the top of the hand. We're just going to layer the microphone in behind, with two straight lines going up. Close this off with a straight line. Now from these two points, we're going to draw a circle. Going all the way around toward the top, and then back down. Let's extend the side of the mic underneath the fingers. I'm just going to taper this in, and just round out the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to draw two straight horizontal lines going across the middle. 
Now we want to go back up to the top of the wrist and close off the hand. Come in, come down, and just bend that out in behind the mic. And we'll close off the bottom of the forearm, starting from the palm, coming down and up towards the elbow. Now we're going to move over towards the right side. Let's draw the outside of the upper arm, bend this out and then down. Bend this down and in towards the side. Pull that up in behind the body. Let's round out the forearm. Starting from the inside, come in and out, go in the opposite direction, close off the wrist with a curve. Now we're going to place the hand in underneath the wrist. Starting from the inside, let's start with a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. And then we're going to curl three fingers along the bottom. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around the bracket. Step down, go out and then up. Let's do that one more time. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. If you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.